Okay, here we have the uh, modified Jewel Thief, modified with some uh, some ideas from uh, Chili Queen, and um, basically what I got here is a basic Jewel Thief. Let's see, I'll use a pencil here. Jewel Thief, we've got a toroid, which yeah, I ripped out of a power supply, and it's got about 25 turns by feeler uh, or bifuller uh, winding. Got a power transistor here. Um, let's see, pretty basic uh, circuit until you get over here. And then, then what I've got is uh, two diodes. These diodes are basically just in between the base of the transistor and and the winding, so you get a little bit of boost of uh, voltage there. And over here, this section is the charge pump circuit area. Got two diodes, two standard um, silicon diodes over here on the left, and on the right I've got two uh, 10 microfarad um, capacitors. Of course you can get bigger capacitors and perhaps get better uh, voltage outputs. But basically, this circuit um, generates, uh, I've seen anywhere from 12 to uh, 16 volts from a 1.5 volt um, double A right here and um, it's pretty amazing um, when you think about it so uh, what I have is I've uh, hooked up a, a 12 volt fan which uh, basically is part of a computer um, it's a 12 volt fan so worst case scenario the, the, the fan would run at like 6 volts so even even with that um, I don't know I haven't really tested it but uh, maybe I will but anyway when I uh, add the power Attach the power to the 1.5. There you go. You can hear the fan running. And let's see what we got for voltage output. Okay, now that's with a load. We've got 2.92 volts with a load on the Jewel Thief, basically coming from a 1.5 volt battery. So. I mean, go figure. Now, the milliamps, of course, has been reduced a lot, but, I mean, we've got a load going on here. We've got a load, and we've got 2.9 volts still coming out of the uh, the output of the Jewel Thief. That's uh, pretty amazing stuff. And uh, we've seen lots of evidence on YouTube about this, and uh, this is just one more example.